Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Today I have pulled from the Conscious Spirit Oracle deck, written by Kim Dreyer. I have pulled card number 22, Archangel Gabriel. Number 22 brings the attributes of two appearing twice, amplifying its influences. Number two relates to your divine life purpose and soul mission. Duality and balance, partnership and relationships, diplomacy, adaptability, insight and sensitivity, selflessness. Master number 22 carries the energies and attributes of diplomacy, intuition, and emotion, balance and harmony, adaptability and diplomacy, personal power, redemption, idealism, expansion, and evolution, philanthropy, service and duty, and manifesting your highest ideals and desires. Number 22 is a number of power and accomplishment. Archangel Gabriel says, I invite Gabriel to bring hope and intuition into my life. This card is a reminder that you can call upon the angels to assist you in your life, irrespective of what your beliefs are. Archangel Gabriel can be called upon to show you ways to bring hope into your life when feelings of hopelessness set in. Gabriel can also be called to assist you to develop your natural feminine intuition. She will help develop appreciation and skills for the art, music, and literature. If you are an artist or a writer, invite her into your life to help find inspiration or motivation. This card could also be a sign that you need to take up art or writing as a hobby. Gabriel can also assist you in interpreting your dreams. She will remain by your side, supporting your dreams and aspirations as long as you request her help. Her name means, God is my strength. So invite Gabriel into your life when you need the strength to follow your dreams. This really is a very beautiful, beautiful card and, and a very powerful number. I think what we're being told today is to remember that we can create our reality. And that even when we don't feel like we have the strength, there are those angels and assisters, assistances out there. There's God's source, there's our angels, there's the masters, there's mystics and guides. and We have the assistance we need, along with the huge and powerful power that we have within ourselves. So I think we are being asked to remember our strength, follow our intuition, have the strength to build your dreams, your desires, and be careful of how you're manifesting them because we are that powerful. Our thoughts do become our realities. I love you all. And again, I thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Mwah.